All right, I has done it. Finally, I found one. So I'll have to see it in the description, but check this out. I'm in a jungle biome. This is a large biome world, and they do spawn in regular worlds too. But, whoa, zombie. I thought it was like a person. It was like, hey, O'Brien. So here we go. Let's get in here. How do I even get in here? Is that a creeper? Yes, it was. Thank you for creative mode. So here we are. Look at this jungle ruined shrine thing, my Bob lighting fail. So nothing really. Whoa. Okay. Nothing really that fantastic up here. I'm not going to switch to survival. So let's get in here and get a torch. Where would a torch be? Aha. Torches. This is creeper infested, man. So let's go down here and see if we can find anything. So. Oh, what's going on over there? Oh, I believe the creeper has walked over this trip wire right here. Come on, creeper. <laughs> so, um, that's actually getting shot from right here. So, check that out. Whoa. And so there's another chest over here. With another one of these. They're actually pretty hidden with some stuff in here. And, you know, we got the trip wire and everything set up. It's really nice. You can actually see the redstone running. Man, these creepers are going to kill themselves. Good. Hmm, let's see what we got over here. All right, so we got some combination lock of some kind. Let's see. Oh, I heard a piston. Huh. What are you doing? Your head is, like, sideways. Is there anything in here? No. Whoa. Okay, so I want to figure out what that piston... Stop it. Um, I don't know how these work. I heard that. Is there going to be a door here? Is there a combination? Oh, what's it doing? Nothing in here, what? What? Let's see, what's behind here then? Hello, Dan. I must know. Oh, a chest. Uh, that's not even that good. Huh. What's this go do? Wait a minute. That was... That was open. Did I walk past it? So, it opens up up here. That's weird. Then you can actually drop down and go into here. So, don't... Okay, so it's not a door opening thing, my bob, like that. It's just kind of... Huh. Alright, so that's the jungle shrine thing. Um, there's one more thing, or a few more things I want to show you, perhaps. This was all implemented in the new update. So, we now have an adventure mode. And this is not really anything for... It's like not a new mo official mode yet. I'll demonstrate. So, if you go into um, a new world and you try to, you know, generate a new world, there's creative, survival, hardcore, there is no option for adventure mode. So, don't try to go in and think that you can just switch it like that. It's actually... Um, if you press T, you know, I have commands on, and you do game mode, see game mode, and then we can go to um, adventure. So, we can switch to adventure mode, so now we're back, it's like survival, but we cannot break blocks at all. So, don't, I'm not, I'm right clicking, left clicking, you can't break blocks at all. Nothing. So, it's literally adventure. You can't break any blocks. I'm guessing this is for when adventure maps are made. It's obviously called adventure mode, so you can instead of like making things out of bedrock and using a different texture pack or just saying don't break blocks, they can actually make it so you can't break blocks, which is I think a cool feature instead of installing a mod or doing something stupid. It's actually, you know, good. So, I think that's good. I don't think this is a mode. Oh, it's gravel looks different. That's gravel, right? I don't even know. I think that's gravel. So I don't think this is a new mode that people are actually going to use because you just literally walk around and admire the scenery, but I think it's a cool feature. So there are a few things I want to show you. All right, so now we are enchanting stuff. So we get some new updates to the enchantment-ness, and I don't think that needs to go there. I think it goes here. So, eh. So now 15 books is now the maximum that an enchantment table supports. So if you're asking me what does that mean, well, remember, you used to be able to put you know blocks all the way around here minus the two blocks to enter and you can even put them on the floor or the roof I don't even know if that counted but now it the maximum is 15 so if you're wondering how many do you can you use max that's 15 because I think I used to just like pile blocks like all the way around as far as I could you know get it just so 
I could think it goes higher. So if we want something to enchant, let me find something in here. Let's give us the sword. And you can go in here, place your block in here, and now the highest that oops, the highest um, enchantment is now the lowest one. So right here we have 30. So we can enchant that to 30. So if you're going in here, and I need something else. Oops. All right, so you're going in here. The highest one will always be 30. So if you have, let's say, you know, let's get rid of two of these blocks, and you put this here, this is 30. So that's the highest the enchantment table can support. I don't know if having 30, um, level 30 affects, you know, if you have 15 blocks there. So I guess it does. So I got rid of like five, and it's putting me at 28. So and then the top two are randomly generated, you know, just like usual. So you don't have to go through. And if you have a full set of 15 around you and you're like, eh, I want 30. And so, yeah, the highest that you can enchant is now 30. And if you're thinking, well, what's with all the, you know, how do I get all the super mega enchantments? Well, they have just been reduced to that level. So now it's a lot easier to get these enchantments. So if we see, let's go in, enchant, let's go 28. So now I got knockback two. So now, I guess before that was harder to get. So now you can get Silk Touch and stuff like that for like level 30 instead of like 50 or something or what it was before. So another new thing that I think I didn't cover was this Ender Chest. Mm-hmm, Ender-y. It's cool. So say we got some important stuff. We put it in here. Okay, we gotta put it in here. And we go ahead and make another Ender Chest somewhere like in our new summer home, okay? And then you go into here. Yeah, it's in there. It's really great. And say you go back and you destroy your ender chest and you go and open this one. It's still here. And you destroy this ender chest. Oh no! Nothing! It's gone! Well, if you make another one, they're there. So it's like the internet. And Minecraft! And I don't think you can have double... No, you can't. So they're kind of separate. Because I guess that wouldn't be fair. You could just like store everything. So you can put all your really expensive you know diamond stuff in there and it's really great to craft an ender chest i think let me see let me get in here where is i think it's decorative blocks so you need this and give me oh okay so you need where's the eye of ender what are you i ender there we go we got one and then i think it's obsidian around it so obsidian all right, so this is the crafting recipe for the ender chest. So you can actually make one of these. It's not that hard to make. So you can make your ender chest. And I think this is a really great implementation. I cannot get that word. I just think it's really cool. So now if you have diamond and stuff, you can easily store them without you know losing them and knowing that it breaks. So even if a creeper comes up and goes, you, you know that that stuff isn't gone. So if I put something in here, so there's something in there, and I break it, it doesn't you know go away. Nothing happens. So also, there's supposed to be one more new update with these, you know, cauldron things. And if it rains, they're actually supposed to fill up. And I guess we can try that. So we can go into this and go toggle down, downfall. And so now it should be raining. And we can see if this thing fills up. Huh. I don't actually, I can't picture this happening. So I don't really know how this is going to work. So, yeah, come on, baby. Fill up. In the meantime, we can enchant our torches now, I wish. I, I really wish that'd be so cool. We could have, like, super torches, and you go, like, boosh, and the whole place lights up. Like, whoa. Hmm. I don't think I have the patience to sit here all day. So, I'm going to call this debunked. It's impossible. You can't do it. Ugh. Maybe they have to be, like, on the top. Put them, like, way up here. It's got to be, like, another sacrifice. Ugh. Fill up. The higher they are to the top of the world, the faster they fill up. I don't even know. Um, I bet it's I bet it's true, but I haven't seen it be done before. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else I can cover here. I'm gonna go ahead and check back on the download page to see if there's anything else, and I'll be right back. Yep, I believe I covered everything. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Sorry for this lag fest. If you want to see my summer updates and find out why I'm still on this laggy computer, then go ahead and watch that. So I don't even know if this is a two-part video yet. It would just kind of be weird me breaking it up in the middle and just having two parts, but I might do that just for the sake of two videos instead of one because this is pretty long. So, yeah, we'll see how it plays out in editing, and 
I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. All right, so thanks for watching this two-part video. I'm sorry I had to break it up into two parts. Again, it was too long for just a one video, and you guys would get bored and stuff like that, so I had to break it up into two parts. Anyway, I have some suggested videos for you all, and on the top we have Optifine install Minecraft Max. Yeah, wording terrible, but this video will show you how to install Optifine on a Mac. This will increase your FPS if you're lagging, or you just want higher FPS anyway. Just go ahead and install this. It makes your Minecraft actually look a little bit better, and you get you know better frame rates. It's all good. And on the bottom, we have how to install this snapshot. So this will work for any snapshot out there. There are currently like two ways to install it. One new way, one the old, and the old way used to be new. So don't let me confuse you. Just click that video and you'll know how to do it. And on top, you can subscribe to be notified when a future video is released. And I will see you guys later. Bye.